Okay, so I thought I should try Saskatchewan. I thought I would do the rest of the big provinces at least. I've already done BC, Alberta, Ontario, and Quebec, but I, I'll do Saskatchewan in this video, and then in a few days I'll be doing Manitoba. Um, I don't know how many people are interested in seeing these two provinces, but I thought I should do the, the rest of the big provinces, and uh, I think I enjoy the province three minute per rounds the most. Uh, more than the state three minute per rounds or the country three minute per rounds just because I'm more familiar with a lot of the places in the provinces. So I'm going to do a challenge here since there's no like explorer mode or anything tracking my progress. So that will be in the description. And let's see how this goes. Hopefully there's not too many rural rounds like this. I just made a, a polygon region for the entire provinces, uh, the entire province. I cut out a little bit close to the borders just because I didn't want to get rounds in the wrong province or even in the US. So I just, uh, and like the Manitoba border is not really a straight line, it's kind of jagged. So I didn't want to have to like be like so specific there making it right at the border. So I just cut off a little bit there in the eastern part of the province. Not much, maybe like a few hundred meters or up to a kilometer. But anyway. Let's see what we got here. It's not like the middle of nowhere. There's civilization here. There, there are houses, um, farms. Um, I don't know how far north this is. I'm going to say it might be quite far north because of the amount of trees. I think the farther south um, regions of the province don't really have trees. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be a matter of moving until I get a clue hopefully there's going to be a town they have quite a few little towns scattered all over the province so I don't think I'm gonna to have to go too far I don't think that sign was relevant so we got about a minute and a half just over a minute and a half left here um, yeah I don't know I don't think I'm getting anything this way. Let's go the other way, southwest. Hopefully I can at least get a highway number. I thought like in the Canada three minute per round attempt, or not three minute per round attempts, in the Canada uh, speed run attempts, um, when I get Saskatchewan, it seems to be quite easy quite often because they have highway signs everywhere, but I'm not really getting any here so far. Here we go, I should have gone this way to begin with Melville. I know where, or I've heard of Melville. I don't remember where it is. I think it's quite big, so oh, I've heard of Melfort. Shit, that's, yeah. I don't think I've heard of Melville then. Oh no, Melville's there, okay. So we're somewhere around there. Um, yeah, I should've just gone this way to begin with. Um, we're going southwest into the town, so we're on this 10. There's not really any point in looking like going into the town. Let's just look for this road. It goes off. So we're going northeast here, like this part, and then this one goes off. Hopefully that actually shows up. It might not though. So we got the curve there, so I don't think this shows up. Where's the train track? It's over there, I guess. Yeah. Um I'm out of time, it's probably not... What the fuck? Oh shit, so I got it almost perfect there, but I I didn't actually see the road, that was just a guess. It was actually a really good guess though, considering that road didn't even show up. Okay, let's move on here, let's see what I get. Okay, this looks uh, more urban, or I mean it could be a tiny town, who knows. Um, I don't know, it doesn't look that tiny. There is a... Yeah, there are quite a few buildings there. Um, let's try to get to either to a highway or into their downtown. Um, hopefully I will have heard of this place. Um, I think it's big enough that I'll probably have heard of it if I get a name. What's this say? Swift Current. Okay, that's good. So it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it, um, the town was at, at the start. Um, what should I do? Actually... We're in a suburban area here, like neighborhood. Let's just look for street signs, since I already know the city. Oh shit, it's a dead end. They don't really have street signs here, apparently. Here we go. Um, 
11th Avenue Southeast and Dahl Street. So, um, 11th Avenue Southeast. So down here. Okay, so we we're kind of surrounded by this river. So uh, that kind of would have made it a bit harder to get out of this neighborhood to look for other clues. Uh, where is that junction? There. So we got this big lot. We got the alley here. Where's the alley? Shit, I already lost it. There, and then this white house. One, two, three. So we're at the third house from the alley. Oh shit, they don't really show up properly. Is that big gap? Yeah, that big gap shouldn't be there, right? It should be that house. I think we're there though. It should be fine. Yeah, there we go. Wait, that didn't really make sense, did it? With the building? Yeah, we're right in the middle of the building, so I don't know. That didn't really make sense where this is exactly, but it's not going to affect the score um, if it's under 15 meters off. So it looks like we have a curve here at least, so that's going to be helpful. Hopefully this grain elevator says something. What the hell just happened there? Port Reeve. I don't know where that is. doesn't look like there's really much of a town here, though. It's just a little bit of, yeah, just a couple houses. So it might be hard to find on the map, so I'm not really going to rely on that too much hopefully i get a highway number there we go maybe i will list okay 32 east let's look for 32 and then i'll look for port reeve uh, hopefully it's not going to be too hard to find this and hopefully it's a short highway too so i don't have to look too much because this place is pretty small uh 32 Yeah, I don't I don't know their highway numbers and I don't know if they have a system really um, I only know 11 because it's the main one between Regina and Saskatoon 32 there we go um, Port Reeve there we go so we're in this curve here I think go back and look um, yeah we're going up to that grain elevator somewhere around here I don't know if the lake's gonna show up so a lot of these lakes, I guess it's this thing. A lot of these lakes are kind of dry a lot of the years. A lot of, uh, most of the year, I mean. Um, yeah, let's go there. That should be good. There we go, 5,000 points. So, so far so good. Another suburban round here. Um, Gibson and Calendar. Probably going to forget those, so I'll look at those. Uh, I'll come back later and look at those dead end there. I'm guessing this is going to be Saskatoon or Regina suburbs or like Moose Jaw maybe or something. Prince Albert maybe. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get out onto Major Road here. Get some more clues. There we go. Yeah, this road's pretty big. See if I recognize the street system. No, it's just normal names. They don't have numbers or letters or anything. Um, shit, what was that? It's not specific to anything. Um, maybe, oh crap. Uh, so these roads are pretty big, so I think this has to be Saskatoon or Regina here. Um, so McCarthy and Rochdale, they're both pretty big roads, so let's look for, uh, where would this be? I'm going to say Saskatoon first. Oh no, they have numbered streets though, unless if it's a more suburban like this. Okay, no, maybe it is Regina then. Um, could even be Prince Albert or something, who knows. Um, McCarthy Boulevard, there we go, and Rochdale. I thought this area would look newer, like where way out like the farthest out suburbs kind of and it's i thought like the buildings look kind of old here but anyway which way did i go to get here i think i came from there so i went north so we're somewhere around here um i don't remember what those roads were as i said i'd forget it um okay, these are always confusing these little like curvy things that where one road curves around and perhaps doesn't change names, those are going to be hard to find on the map. But let's see here. Calendar and Seymour. Oh no, wait, let's use this one. 
Althone. So Seymour is the one that... Okay, I see there's a lot of these things, so it's not really going to narrow it down. Seymour Crescent. I think I passed this road, right? So... Oh, here we go. So we're somewhere in here right now, so... We're north of this zigzag thing, so I think we're in here somewhere. Am I gonna have enough time to figure this out? We're in the curve, actually. Are we in this curve, though? Yeah, we are. Okay, there we go. 5,000 points once again, so it's going well so far. Oh, shit. Everyone, like BC and Alberta, I've gotten rounds like this. I think both of them were at the end, too, where it's like this farm, or not a farm, a rural road, dirt road, or just very desolate. I think the other BC and Alberta was just, they're paved, but they're just very desolate. But yeah, I get rounds like this sometimes in the Canada um, map when I'm trying to get the perfect score speed runs, and it's really annoying. I think we're far north, though. Big River. I don't know where this would be. That's the problem when you do the polygon regions, you get rounds like this. As long as it's not a photosphere, it doesn't really matter. I guess it's... If they have street view of it, like official street view, then I guess it's fair game to be put in uh, in this in GeoGuessr. Um, yeah, so birch trees though, it's obviously far north, just a lot of trees, um, not many farms. There was a house there. There seemed to be quite a few cars here, which is kind of interesting. Um, I wonder if they're just doing construction on the road and that's why it's dirt. Who knows? Um, oh yeah, I don't know where this would be. I think one of the signs said Big River or something, but who knows how big that will be. Like the town or whatever it is, if it will even show up on the map. I hope this is some type of highway. Like, I think they have three-digit highways that are very hard to find, but it's better than better than no clues whatsoever. Eventually, I'm just going to not, like, stop moving, and I'm going to look for a uh, big river. Yeah, so it looks like there's some type of construction thing. I don't know. Hmm... Got another a lot of junctions here though, and there's a few houses scattered all over the place, and there seems to be a lot of cars, so that's interesting. Maybe we're not as far north as I thought, or maybe we're just kind of close to Flin Flon or something. Um, Big River, shit. Wasn't that on the sign? Maybe we're just like over here somewhere. Crap, that was easy to find. Maybe I should have looked for that earlier. We're going northwest here in quite a straight line. I don't think it's this 55. Unless if it is what I was saying about it being uh, construction. But no, I don't think that's the case. Um, so we go northwest and then we got a curve. I don't know. I'm going to have to do something here. Let's go maybe on this. I don't see the lake though. Shit. Um, oh, okay. Way down there. So 793. Oh, Big River is like a, a First Nation. So it's like a... Oh, okay. First Big River Indian Reserve 118. So it's... So it's like the reservation name too. And the town happens to be up there. So that's a bit confusing. Disappointing end to this game. I think I still did better than I did on the BC or Alberta map. Um, yeah, so... Let's see if anyone tries the challenge. I don't know how many people will be interested in it. But anyway... Um, not a good ending, but the first four rounds went really well. Especially rounds two, three, and four, I believe, are the ones I got perfect on. Yeah, those went well, and they're pretty quick, too. Or rounds two and three, at least, were quick. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I'll be doing Manitoba soon. Uh, I'll try to do more Canadian content. I know it, it might not be the most popular, but that's kind of what I wanted to do when I created this channel, and I know there are some people that enjoy the Canadian content. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.